Hey everybody, thanks for joining me for another video. Today we're going to talk about the importance of finding your positive access point, why where the fingers go on the ball is not a layout, and why saying something like the pin is above the ring finger and the CG kicked out is not a layout either. All right, so I've got two balls here. They both have identical specs. They're both a three and five eighths pin to CG, which with the new USB-C rules doesn't make any difference anymore, but I'm just saying it for the point of pointing it out. Uh, but I've laid them both out with the same layout measurements. So both balls are 70 by five by 40 dual angle or five by five and a quarter by two and three quarter VLS. Now I have, after that, I've mapped them out for two different positive axis point locations. We're all different people, we all throw the ball differently, and so the ball on this side is mapped out with a path of four over and one up, and this ball over here is mapped out with a path of five over and zero up or down. So taking a look at this one first, the way that you find where the fingers are supposed to be is you decide on a layout, you map the layout on the ball to find the positive axis point, and then you measure backwards from where you've identified the positive axis point to be to where that's going to put the fingers. So if we are four over and one up, where when once we get the layout on there and it's identified where the positive axis point is going to be, we will find the vertical axis line, we will measure down an inch, and over four inches to the grip mid and center line. So what we end up with here is that for a positive axis point of four over and one up, it put the, puts the fingers right here. So the middle finger for a right-hander, the middle finger is gonna go here, the ring finger is gonna go here, and the thumb is going to go down here. This layout for a positive axis point of four over and one up puts the pin above the middle finger and the CG pretty well in the center of grip. Now, if we're gonna take a look at this one, this one is based on a positive axis point of five over and zero up or down. So once again, the process works the same. You put the layout on there, it finds where the positive axis point is, and then you measure backwards from the positive axis point to find out where the fingers are gonna be. So since it's zero up or down, we measure just 90 degrees straight off the vertical axis line, and that puts us over here at the grip, mid, and center line. So the middle finger is gonna go here, the ring finger is gonna go here, and the thumb is going to go down here. So despite this being the exact same layout for two bowlers with different positive axis points, for this bowler with the four over and one up, it's gonna put the pin above the middle finger, and for this bowler with the five over and zero up or down, it's gonna put the pin above the ring finger. So this is exactly why you can't look at a, a picture of a layout on a ball video and think, okay, well, they put the pin above the ring finger. So if I drill this ball with the pin above the ring finger, I'm going to get the same reaction. You may or may not, depending on how close your positive axis point is to theirs. Now, this is why it's very important to drill a ball based on your positive axis point and not off of a picture of where the fingers are at. So the next time you watch the ball review, make sure that you don't pay really any attention to the picture of where the fingers are at, but that you pay attention to the, the dual angle or the VLS numbers that the reviewer tells you the layout is. So to find out your positive access point, all you need to do is take a ball into your pro shop. They should have the tools and the know-how to find what your positive access point is. Hope you learned something. Thanks for watching and may the strikes be with you. 